welcome back. Now I'm going to do a demo I'm calling magnetic force and torque. So the first thing we're going to see is the magnetic force on a current carrying wire. I also have a similar demo to this that I do the magnetic levitation. Uh, so I do that test. But right now I'm going to be concentrating on the magnetic force on a current carrying wire. The deflection is going to be right to left. So I have the power supply. This wire is connected to the positive of the power supply. It's connected to this side right here, the one that's closer to you. And then the other one is connected to the, uh, to the other wire. So it, from your point of view, it looks like this, like this. So the positive current is coming like this and moving this way and then going this way. So if I tilt it like this, the current will be coming down and then going into this way, farther away from the video, right? And then up the other side. So once I turn on the power supply, so the current is coming down and then into the board. So I'll say the current is going into the board, right? The, the way that I have it set up. And then the magnetic field of the magnet, the north is up on the top. So the north is up on the top and the south is on the bottom. So the magnetic field is this way. So when I turn on the power supply, what is the expected deflection uh, of the current carrying wire? So the force on the current carrying wire is equal to the current times the length times the cross product of the length and the B, right? So the length of the wire is, the direction of the length of the wire is given by the direction of the current. Since the current is going into the board, we take the cross product, so the current is going into the board and the magnetic field is facing down. So I crossed into B to the left. So the cross product of I and B to the left. So when I turn on the power supply, I'm expecting this to uh, go up towards this direction, okay? So what you can see, it's kind of oscillating. What happens is the magnetic force causes this to go this way, right? The wire goes this way, like that. But then the weight of the wire causes it to go back down. So it wants, its preferred uh, position is down this way, right? So then it goes up, down, up, down, up, down, oscillates until it finally finds an equilibrium between the force of the magnetic field and the weight, right? So this almost can be a good problem. You can say, okay, what's the equilibrium angle? So you have here the force of the magnetic field is the current LB, right? Then you have the weight of the wire. I'm assuming here the weight of the wire is at the, cent is at the bottom, but re in technically it should be somewhere in the middle, right? The, the concentrated in the middle of the rod. But let's just simplify it, say the weight is down here, and then there's a tension T, right? So we can make this into a good physics problem. We can say, um, let this angle be theta. That means this angle is theta, right? So if that angle is theta, that angle is theta. So T sine of theta, which is the horizontal component of T, so it looks like this. This is T sine theta. That's equal to the ILB, the force of the magnetic field. And then T cosine of theta is equal to mg, right? The weight of the, the wire. So then you divide these two, right? And then the tension cancels. Tangent of theta equals uh, the current times the length times the B over the mg, right? So right now the angle uh, looks like it's about uh, five degrees or so. It's tilted about five degrees. And then the, I don't know what the current is, but I could measure the current. I could put an ammeter in the circuit. And then the length would be the length from here to here. Okay, this way. It looks like it's about a length of about five centimeters. 0.05 meters. I can measure the current in the wire by putting an ammeter into the circuit. Right? I haven't done that right now, but you could do a good experiment here. You can measure the current in the wire. You could measure the mass of the wire, so you would know that, and then uh, you would have 9.8. And then you can measure the angle, and then you can use this as an experimental way for calculating the magnetic field of that magnet. Right? So now what's going to happen if I bring the magnets closer together? If I bring the magnets, I can adjust the distance between these magnets. If I bring the magnets closer together, what should happen to the angle? Right? 
the tangent of the angle increases, that means the angle itself also increases. So it should deflect even more, right? So I'm gonna bring the magnets closer, closer, closer. Okay, you can tell here that I've made the magnets really close together now, and you see the deflection is bigger angle now, maybe 10 degrees or so, you see? So the magnetic force is larger. What should happen if I increase the current? Right now I've got the power supply set to two volts. If I increase the current of voltage too much, there might be too much current going into it and the fuse that you see where it says reset, and the fuse might pop out. So I wanna be careful not to have too much voltage in there. So what I'm gonna do is increase the voltage a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna put three volts. So you can see now the fuse popped actually. That was too much current. Right here is one volt. Right here is one volt right here. And two volts is the maximum that it can take. Let's increase to two volts. And you might be able to tell a slight difference in the angle, right? It's a larger angle. But if I go to three volts, the angle gets bigger, but the fuse pops. There's too much current in there. Okay, now I went back to one volt. One of the things I can try now is switch the, or the way that the current is flowing, right? So I disconnect this, disconnect this, connect it this way. Now, which way is the, the, the deflection gonna be? The deflection should be the other direction, right? So you can see it, it's basically the other direction. So now the current is flowing out of the board. Right, the magnetic field is down. So when you do the uh, cross product out of the board, curl, you curl your fingers towards the direction of B, and then the force is this way, right? So now the deflection is this way. So I can zoom in on it so you can see. So you can see the deflection is to the right now. The other thing I can do is switch the magnetic, the magnetic field of the magnet itself, right? So now what if I switch this this way And I go literally turn this upside down and then hold it like that. So I haven't changed the wiring, right? All I did is just switch the north south poles. Turn it on. Okay, now the deflection is to the left. You see? So I, the current is coming out of the board, the magnetic field is up now. The current is coming this way and the magnetic field is up. So I'll show you the right hand rule now for this. So the current is out of the board, then I go up, then the force is to the left, right? So you go like this, but since the magnetic field is up, you can't go like this and curve it this, uh, curl it this way, right? So you've gotta go like this, curl it this way, and the force will be to the uh, left. So you can see that uh, that's, that, uh, that happened when I connected them, right? So the other, now I'm gonna show you magnetic torque. So it's a little bit different the setup for that.